Welcome to the 2009 Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. Everybody, King Zaz here for George Langevin Productions. We have a girls under 15 match. There's the whistle, and we have begun in white. It's the Calgary Northwest United Rush, and they're going up against the Vallejo Strikers Gold. So the Strikers in green. Calgary United in white. And we are underway. Two 30-minute halves here. No overtime. Bracket play game. We'll get you the rosters for these squads here in just a minute. Calgary dribbling the ball out of their backfield, firing it up towards midfield, just out of the circle, and now across midfield. It's cold out here, about 40 degrees at game time. Number 17 towards the back line. Lisa Powell. And the ball is out across the back line. And we will have a corner kick here for the Calgary Northwest United Rush. Number 12, Michelle Landsidell. So Michelle will take the corner kick. First one of the game, no score, just underway. 8.40 p.m. start time, and it, as I said, it's chilly. On a bounce, it's gonna be, oh, centered perfectly in front of the net and over the crossbar, landing on top of the net. So Calgary nearly striking first here. And let's see who was last to touch the ball. I believe it was Vallejo, and so We'll have another corner kick, this time coming from the far side of the field. I believe that's Haley Fortini, number two, far side. On a bounce, cleared over to the far side. Kathleen Jeremia. Or Jeremiah, I should say. Puts it into play. Number five gets a foot on the ball right there. Brianna Keel. And here comes Vallejo across midfield. Nice job defensively right here. Just to stop their forward momentum, that was number 12, Michelle Landsidell. I believe we had an offside there, so the ball will belong to Calgary. And the keeper, Jamie Foyard, will take the kick, leaving the net open. So they've got some confidence in their keeper, and she'll send it upfield. And she'll have to get back quickly as the ball finds itself back into the defensive third of Northwest United Rush. So the referees, at least the, the head referee in the middle and the side judge here on the near side have opted for the pants. And the side judge, the lone rogue over there on the far side with the shorts, ball in the middle of the field. And on the header, the ball will bounce one time right out of the hands of Jamie Foyard, the keeper. Ball over to the far side of the field and out. And number nine, Alyssa Bonaton will put the ball into play. So Vallejo from Cal North. Going up against Calgary here. They come in deep, number three with a shot on goal. It's gonna be just wide. Paloma Zermeno with that shot on goal. Number 11 here. Go, 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 go. 
So another kick coming up here for Foyard. Angles it over the far side, right at midfield. Saved from going out. And taken away, but a late whistle there. And that's going to go against Vallejo. And so Calgary Northwest United Rush will have it just below midfield. We'll get you the rosters here for these squads in just a second. No score. Calgary came so close just a few moments ago here on the right half of the field. Ball now in the circle. Left half. And now across midfield. Let's see if Calgary can put some pressure on number 17. Trying to get to the ball right there. Lisa Powell. She needed some help. The ball taken away. Met right here at midfield. Number two. Sylvia Martin. Yeah, ball out. Near side. It's a break for Calgary. They'll have it. And Calgary wants substitutions coming into the match. Number seven, Sarah Oaks. And number 10, Julia Haggerty. For, let's see, number three and number 16. Number three, Kate Godfrey. And number 16, Carly Lumsden. Ball across midfield. Defense is there for Calgary. Here on the near side, Oak saves it from going out. Number three moving it now for Vallejo. The strikers, Paloma Zermino. Paloma's been the far side and here to the near side. As soon as the action settles here in the middle of the field, we'll get you the rosters. Ball in the middle. Nice job clearing it away by Calgary. Number 15 running it down right there. Caitlin Fulton. But the strikers continue to move right to left. Shot here in the near side. Vallejo trying to center it. Number 15 shot on goal. And that ball is going to find the back of the net. Number 15. And Vallejo. Takes the lead 1-0 here in the first half. They strike first. And so Calgary will have the ball at midfield to get things going here. Into the match number 19 for Calgary. Taryn Graham for number 12. Michelle Lansidel. Vallejo again on the move right to left. Down the middle, number 10. Looking to get stopped there, Elisa Montano. And let's see here, the flag comes up and I believe that's gonna go against Vallejo. So we'll give you the roster now for Calgary Northwest United Rush. Number two is Haley Fortini. Number three, Kate Godfrey. Number four is Reagan Aguasin. Number nine, Kara Nanya. Number 10, Julia Haggerty. Number 11 is Alexandra Metcalf. Number 13, the keeper, Jamie Foyard. Number 14, Kathleen Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Number 15, Caitlin Fulton. Number 16, Carly Lumsden. Number 17, Lisa Powell. Number 19, Taryn Graham. Number 12, Michelle Lansaddell. Number seven, Sarah Oaks. Number five, Brianna Keel. And number 21 is Robin Spilsberg. The head coach is Gino Nanya. So there's a roster for the Calgary Northwest United Rush. And for the Vallejo Strikers out of Northern California. Number two, Sylvia Martin. Number three, Paloma Zermino. Number four, Alessandra Scafani. Number five, Michelle Padilla Lopez. Number six, Kristen Knox. Number seven is Emily Nazareno. Number eight, Janae Takamoto. Number nine is Alyssa Bonotan. And Calgary now into the defensive backfield. 
Number 10 trying to get to the ball, Julia Haggerty, and it's cleared away by Vallejo. Number 13 for Vallejo, Kimber Lohman. And now on the attack, still going up against the keeper and to the right of the keeper, the score, number three, Paloma Zermeno. And it is 2-0 in favor of Vallejo. In fact, Paloma even slowed up looking at the referee to see if there perhaps might have been an offsides call. No flag, and so she just kept going. And one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, Jamie Foyard. And, you know, when you do that, it's 50-50. Go to the left or the right. And it was to Foyard's right. I believe she chose left. And so it's 2-0. So as we said for the Vallejo Strikers, number 13, Kimber Lowen. Number 14, Alexandra Ortiz. Number 16, Kialoni Elmore, number 17, Jasmine Cardenas, number 19, Jessica Pellicer, number 20, Tiffany Norwood, number 23, Catherine Bays, and number 30 is Jennifer Pellicer. The head coach, Manuel Bonatan, the assistant coach, Chris Vega, the trainer, Ronaldo Montano, and the manager is Eleanor Lara Bonatan. So there's your roster for both of these squads. First half, 2 0 in favor of the Vallejo Strikers, or yes, the Vallejo Strikers, again in the neon green. Number 10, Julia Haggerty giving chase right there, and it's going to be Calgary ball. So Calgary has it here, near side on the throw in. Let's see if they can make something happen. They wanna come in deep, touch their first touch number 12 for Vallejo. And again out here, and again, number 19, Taryn Graham will put the ball, actually it's a corner, so it did go out across the back line. So Graham with the corner kick. Quickly, she wants to get it going. Cleared out by Vallejo, number five there, sends it right back towards the net. There's a collision in front, ball still loose. Number five, Brianna Keel with that attempt. And now for Vallejo across midfield. Again, number three. They're going to have to stop her. Paloma Zermeno. Paloma turning on the gas. And finally from behind, nice defensive play for Calgary. So Vallejo is sent away. Number seven now with the ball. Sarah Oaks. Oaks. Up against Eliza Montano. Number 12 shot high into the air. Oh, over the crossbar. Goal kick for Calgary. Substitutions for the white squad here on the near side. Number 17 and number 11, Alexandra, Met Alexandra Metcalf, number 11. Number 17, Elisa Powell into the match. Far side, looks like Calgary wants to spread the field right now. Try something, you know, to, to get around this defense. Vallejo so quick, that's the difference right now. Using their speed to open things up. And Calgary's gotta find a way to stop number three there for Vallejo. Right down the middle into the hands of the keeper. So Jimmy Foyard with the stop. Ball bounces right here. Near midfield, near side. And that's gonna be off Calgary. Sylvia Martin will put the ball into play. Number two. Throw in. Trying to gain position there was number 14, Kathleen Jeremiah. And the ball is out. Cross the back line. And another goal kick here for Calgary. Substitutions for Vallejo. Number five and number two will come out. At number five, Michelle Padilla-Lopez. Number two, Sylvia Martin. Nice little pass right there for number 14, Kathleen Jeremiah to number 11, Alexandra Metcalf. 
Ball still in play on the line and finally goes out and will belong to Calgary. Jeremiah quickly. It's a free kick, not a throw in. So there's a little bit of a hook there. So we'll do it again. Still Calgary ball. Number 19, Taryn Graham. Graham with the kick down the middle. One touch, nearly a handball, was it? No. Referee says play on. Would have been a huge break right there because Calgary would have had a chance to strike on the free kick. Close to the net. Referee chose to let it play on. And again, number three, Zermano. Trying to find an opening, but she's got three defenders near her. Passes it into the middle of the field. And another shot, number 12 up top. That's going to be wide of the net. And another goal kick here for Calgary Northwest United Rush. Girls under 15 match the 2009 Las Vegas Mayor's Cup hosted by the downtown Las Vegas Soccer Club. Truly becoming an international event. We got teams from Australia here this weekend. Teams from Germany, Mexico, Canada. High into the air towards the net. Ooh, Zermeno wasn't in position for the header. She gets it back, tries to come inside again, but she's gonna run out of room there and the ball will belong to Calgary. And every minute it seems, brings another degree, another temperature drop in the weather. As we said at game time, it was 41 degrees and will most likely be in the 30s by the time we are done here today. 8 o'clock, 8.40 p.m. start. Tomorrow should be a little bit warmer. And Championship Monday could be Black Monday. Clouds and storms scheduled to roam in. And hopefully they'll stay out until the end of the tournament around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Picked up there by Jamie Foyard. And I think it's officially into the 30s now as I can see my breath. Nearly into the circle, number eight, waiting for that ball to stop. Janae Takamoto giving chase. Calgary, number five. Brianna Keel. Number 15, far side. For Vallejo, now they want to put it into the middle. Number 16 there, Keelani Elmore. Shot towards the net, high into the air, off the head. Number four, Alessandra Scafani, no shot. Nice job defensively by Calgary here. They got to clear it out, and they do hit to the near side. Nice job by Calgary, Northwest United Rush. Ball is out and belongs to Vallejo. And I believe number 15 for Vallejo is Alexandra Mihol, a guest player. Play whistle right in front of the referee, though. A little trip. Number 17 guilty, Lisa Powell for Calgary. Free kick here for Vallejo. Number 14, Alexandra Ortiz. Into the middle now, high into the air. Left half of the field. Number eight dribbles it out, Janae Takamoto. 2 0 in favor of Vallejo. And that shot is going to go out across the back line. And Let's see, the fly goes down. Are they going to give a corner? And it is a corner kick. So last touch by Calgary, and I believe that's Mihol. Alexander Mihol with the corner from the far side. So Calgary needs good defensive stand here. They don't want to go down 3-0. And 
and they don't attack. They just get it going. Ball nearly goes out, saved by Calgary. And on a bounce into the hands of the keeper. So Foyard with the stop. And, you know, after a bumpy little start there, giving up a couple of goals, Calgary has settled down, getting into a rhythm. You know, they just need to try to push the issue with their offense a little bit more, put some more pressure in the defensive side of things for Vallejo. And that's going to roll and roll towards the back line. Does it go out? It doesn't. Nice save. Nice job by Calgary to save the corner kick there. Up to number 11, Alexandra Metcalf. Nice pass. And now here comes Calgary. That's going to be off Vallejo. No, now they say it's off Calgary. Nice job right down the middle. Ooh, nearly a collision there. Number 10, Julia Haggerty. Nice strong kick. Bounces into the circle. Now out. A lot of pressure now being put on number three, Paloma Zermeno by Calgary. So they're trying to contain her. And Haggerty, number 10, is going to be tripped up there. The ball goes out far side. Belongs to Calgary. So let's see, let's see if Calgary can make something happen here. They've got three players here on the near side that want to get into the game, and they're going to... they got number 12 coming in, Michelle Landsidell, number 3, Kate Godfrey, and number 4, Reagan Aguasen. So three fresh legs, or sets of legs, in for Calgary. Ball again goes out far side, and again, it's White's ball, Calgary ball. Under five minutes to go here in this first half. Ball far side. Across midfield, Vallejo on the run again. Defense getting back for Calgary. Now they want it into the middle. Right there is the keeper, Jamie Foyard, to scoop it up. Ball here on the near side. Now into the middle for Calgary. Number 17, Lisa Powell. It's into the circle. Somebody's got to get to the ball. Calgary needs to attack just another step quicker. Close up those lanes taken by Vallejo. Vallejo, Vallejo though, looking for somewhere to go. Can't find it, and they're pushed back out towards midfield. They're going to try to come back in again. Nice takeaway. you got to like the way Calgary's defense is playing now, the way they're attacking. They were a little, you know, just a little bit off there to start the sec or this first half, to start the game, but they've settled down. And if, I think if they can go into halftime just down 2 nil, they can regroup. Obviously try to cut that lead in a half here, or in half, before the end of the first half. Reagan Aguasen with the block of number four, Alessandra Scafani. Shot towards the net, high into the air, and off the hand of the keeper. Jamie Foyard and into the side of the net. And just what Calgary didn't want to happen late here with just a few minutes to go in this first half. They give up the third goal. And that will be tough to come back from. Substitutions coming in. Not impossible, just a little more tough. They're going to be really on the ball there in the start of the second half. But with just a few minutes remaining here in the first, if they can get a score, and they've got a manageable deficit to start the second half. Number 12, Michelle Lansedell. Oh 
into the backfield now, of course, towards the end of the half here. Vallejo just wants to dribble it out, play a little keep away. They've got the 3-0 lead. They're certainly going to be happy taking that into halftime. And now they're going to race down the far sideline, trying to get there. Number 21, Robin Spielsberg. And the ball is out off of Vallejo. And it's Calgary ball. Calgary now bringing it up again. Number two, far side, Haley Fortini. Ball in the air comes down now towards midfield. Calgary would love to send that ball soaring across midfield, give themselves an opportunity here before the end of the half to put a score up. And my watch is off. I've got 30 minutes right now. So we'll watch the referee, look at some of the fields around us, and they're continuing to play. So we might have a minute or so remaining here in the half. Number 11 for Vallejo will put the ball into play. Touch picked up number 12. <laughs> ball over on the far side. There's a whistle on one of the adjoining fields. So the end of the half coming up here. 3 0 in favor of Vallejo. Number 16, Keelani Elmore. Defense. Trying to cut it off here for Calgary. Number five, Brianna Keel. Ball sent out. They want to regroup, come back in. Number four, Alessandra Scafani. But before she can do anything, oh, we get a whistle. I thought that was going to be the end of the half. But the whistle that's going to go against... Vallejo and the free kick there for Calgary. Cross midfield. Scafani. Nice little pass there, but a little bit too hard. And that ball's going to scoot right past the diving Jamie Foyard. And that kick coming from about 20 yards out, about 17. And I don't believe Calgary was expecting that. Number two, Haley Fortini was trying to get to the ball. It was an errant pass by Vallejo to begin with. A little bit too much on it. And in fact, it was too much. Nobody could get there. And finally, Vallejo was able to get to the ball first and punch it in for the score. And so it's 4-0. Vallejo over Calgary Northwest United Rush. And so now all fields around us have entered halftime. We're still playing here on field 10. Referee looks at his watch. And now Calgary making their move. Ball taken away. Let's see if Calgary can get a final shot here before the end of the half. Taken away by Vallejo and out. Again, he looks at his watch. Throw comes in, into the middle of the field. Can Calgary get a shot? There it is, right down the middle. A lot of activity in front. Another shot on goal, and it's going to roll just wide, and finally out across the back line. So Calgary comes very close right there to a score, but now the goal kick for... Vallejo. Oh, wow. 
And there goes the kick, and there goes the whistle. So we will go into halftime. Calgary United will regroup. They trail 4 0 to the Vallejo Strikers. Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions will take a break here for halftime and be back in just a few minutes with the second half. King Zoss back here for George Landsman Productions. Start of the second half of this girls under 15 match. Calgary Northwest United Rush and the Vallejo Strikers Gold. The 2009 Mayor's Cup here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're, I think it's about 37 degrees as we start the second half here. The high today was only about 53. So a four nil lead for Vallejo. They scored that two of those goals with just about two minutes left, three minutes left in the half. You know, I was just saying, you know, Calgary, they can go in, two to nothing, manageable deficit, but now four. You know, at this point, for Calgary, you know, you've got to just start looking at points. Get a couple of scores towards the net. Nice job right there by the keeper, Jamie Foyard, with the save. I mean, obviously, you want to still try to win. I mean, this game is not over. You got 30, you know, 28 minutes remaining. Vallejo put up four in the first half. They can, there's certainly plenty of time to put up four of your own. And a goal kick coming up here for Calgary. So I was talking to some of the parents, Calgary team. So I'll go ahead and mention it here on the air. When you go, go back home and watch this DVD, be sure to turn into the fan, 1060 in Calgary on your AM dial on a bounce right into the hands of Jamie Foyard. So another save, Jamie, starting off this second half with some nice saves. But as I said, every Saturday morning from 9 to 11 on the fan, 1060. Between Rounds Radio Show. Along with my co-host, I host this show. And that's the only city in Canada that you can hear our wonderful voices. We're all over the U.S., but one city in Canada, and it's in Calgary. So treat the Calgary squad here today as they're one of my own. And a whistle, and that's gonna go against Vallejo. And the ball belongs to Calgary United. And you know, Calgary, they've made some adjustments here to start the second half, as they have the free kick and, you know, there was a stretch there in the second half, or in the first half, you know, they gave them two scores up early and then played very well for, you know, the next 22, 23 minutes. And then the last three or four minutes kind of had a little bit of a, a meltdown there. Gave up two scores, but, you know, the way they're playing this game now, you'd think it's tied. You wouldn't think that one of these teams was up 4-0. Number 21. Robin Spielsberg, number two, H Haley Fortini, and the keeper will pick it up there for Vallejo. High into the air, just below midfield, now across. Number 21 trying to get there. Shot towards the net, and that ball is going to go wide of the net. <laughs> so another goal kick here for Calgary, Northwest United Rush. And some substitutions for Calgary set to come in. Looks like they'll have four fresh sets of legs on the next substitution. Here comes the kick by Foyard. Up to number nine, Kara Nanya. 
Nanya trying to get to the ball. And, you know, these teams right now here, especially in the second half, they're playing cold. You can see it trying to stretch their sleeves to their hands. It's a cold one out there. And we're right in the thick of it. Towards the back line. Vallejo trying to come inside. Is there a whistle? No whistle. Everyone's looking at the ball at the referee. Really, both teams. Calgary with a break. And they fired it over to the far side. Ball in the circle. Now rolls here to the near side. Cross midfield. Nobody home for Vallejo. And the keeper, J.B. Foyard, will pick it up. Kick angles far side. Calgary dribbles it a couple of times as they try to spread it out. Ball is out far side, will belong to Vallejo. Calgary trying to move it out of that far corner. Into the middle of the field. Let's see if those white jerseys can get there. They do. Nice job. Vallejo, though, keeps it here on the right half of the field. Moving to the near side. Number eight, Janae Takamoto. Into the middle. Deflected away once. Now right down the middle. Shot goes off the crossbar and over the top. And so a break right there for Calgary Northwest United Rush as the ball goes out and another goal kick here for the white team. Kate Godfrey, number three. Number seven, Sarah Oaks into the match. Number 16, Carly Lumsden. Shot towards the net and another save by Foyard. Playing a great game here in this second half. Ball on a bounce across midfield. Far side. Defense has to get back for Calgary. And a collision, the ball still rolling. Referee with his arms out, play on. You know, just contact, both players trying to make a play, one falls. Play continues. Vallejo. Trying to do something, but it's taken away by Calgary Northwest United through the circle across midfield. And number five, Brianna Keel has it taken away. Now it rolls far aside. Trying to get there, number nine, Kara Nanya. And Calgary Northwest United Rush trying to put some pressure on the defensive backfield of Vallejo strikers, but the strikers sent it back the other way, and now they're in the defensive third of Calgary. Ball rolls out across the back line, and let's see, what do we have here? Looks like a goal kick. Well, no, looks like a corner kick. And it will be from the far side. So a corner kick for Vallejo. And are they going to change their mind? And they are. So they're going to make it a goal kick after all. Ball on the ground here to number 12, Michelle Lansidel. 
Lance Seidel across midfield. Nice job, Northwest. Calgary Northwest United now here on the near side, and they run out of room. It goes out and will go over to Vallejo, but the ball is deep in Vallejo territory, so let's see if Calgary can keep it here on the left half. Lumsden trying to use her chest to block that one. Now down the middle, number five, Brianna Keel. Too many green jerseys there. Vallejo sends it back the other way, but met at midfield, number 17, Lisa Powell. Ball far side of the field. For Vallejo, they send it up towards midfield, number 19 running it down there, Taryn Graham. Graham able to get to the ball, nice job by Taryn. Ball still in play. Number 14, Alexandra Ortiz there for Vallejo. And let's see, the ball belongs to Vallejo. Oh, number 21 there, Robin Spilsberg tried to make a play. In fact, she deflected the ball. And I think she allowed her team to keep it here on the left side of the field. Michelle Lansdale will try to control it, but she'll lose it. Gets him up from her teammates. Number four has got to watch out from behind. Reagan Aguasin. Ball near side, in deep into the defensive third of Vallejo, battling for it. It rolls out across the back line, and last touch by Calgary. So the goal kick here for the Vallejo strikers. But you know. You like that aggressive play there by Calgary Northwest United Rush. Four nil in favor of Vallejo Strikers. Nobody has scored here in the second half. All four of those scores in the first half. Number 12, Michelle. Lance Seidel will put the ball into play. Looking for an opening. Tried to get it over to number nine, Karen Nanya. But stepping in front, taken away, Vallejo Strikers. That's going to be just a little bit too, str too strong there for anybody to get to except for the keeper. Number 13, Jamie Foyard. And Foyard with the left leg boots the ball into the circle at midfield. Ball is out here near side. Last touch by the strikers. And it is Calgary ball. Ball at midfield. Vallejo spreading things out. Giving chase there, number 21, Robin Spielsberg. And Spielsberg, they come away with it. Calgary United using that far sideline. And the whistle, the flag is out. The ball belongs to the Vallejo strikers. Number three for Calgary, Kate Godfrey was there. And again, now you can see here in the second half, Calgary, Northwest United Rush spending more time on the left half of the field in that defensive backfield of Vallejo. So they're doing a better job putting that pressure on the defense here in the second half. So they did make the adjustments with coach at halftime. And really a different ball game.
Ball far side still in play. Vallejo gets to it. And let's see across midfield near the sideline. And now back towards the back line into the defensive backfield of Calgary. It goes out and will be a goal kick for Calgary. And looks like Alexander Metcalf, number 11, is ready to come in as substitution for Calgary Northwest United, as well as number 15, Caitlin Fulton, number 10, Julia Haggerty, and number 14, Kathleen Jeremiah. So we've got just about 12 minutes or so, maybe 13 remaining here in this match. 4-0 in favor of the Vallejo Strikers. Ball towards the corner. Back line saved from going out in front of the net. Nice job by the defense of Calgary Northwest United clearing it out. Another shot towards the net and right into the hands of Jamie Foyard. Kick high into the air, lands in the circle. And the strikers taking it, moving left to right. Far side, it's going to roll, chasing it down. Number 17, Lisa Powell. And she gets to it in time, saves it, gets it to her teammates. Let's see if they can do something there to take it out of their backfield. Reagan Aguasen. And so the kick by Jamie Foyard. Ball at midfield. And let's see if Calgary can get to what they do. Turn the corner up towards midfield. Calgary quicker to the ball here in the second half than they were in that first half. Trying to push it up to midfield and it's out. Should be Calgary ball, it is. Right in front of their bench, put into play quickly. Jeremiah into the middle of the field, bounces. Oh, nice header, number five. I wasn't expecting that, Brianna Keel. And the ball out near side. Will belong to the strikers. Number nine with the touch, Karadanya. Over to number 12, Lance Seidel. Vallejo now on the run, but that defense has been stingy for Calgary here in the second half. Vallejo ball, and you can see the little grimace there on number 17, Lisa Powell's face. Just took a little shot by the ball, and with this cold weather, that stung. She had a little smile for her teammates. They're all acknowledging how cold it is out there. Ball rolls far side, trying to get there. Number 11, Alexandra Metcalf for Calgary. So the strikers will put the ball into play. Now it rolls back into the middle of the field. Number eight with the touch there, Janae Takamoto. Takamoto into the middle of the field as she sends it right to or left to right. Number 16, Kiolani Elmore. Ball will go out here near side, and it is Calgary ball. 
Nice job. Let's see if they can get out and run here on the near side. Number 10, Julia Haggerty. They want to push the issue. Calgary, again, Jeremiah puts it into play to Haggerty. And again, it's Calgary ball. Under 10 minutes to go. Towards the net and the keeper comes out to make the save. Number 15, Kaylin Fulton was there just in case. And really a tale of two halves here as we come down to the final seven minutes, eight minutes or so. Calgary Northwest United with a heck of a second half here. Defensively, right on the ball. Vallejo towards the corner. Now they're going to make a move inside. On the ground, deflected away, and that'll be a corner kick for Vallejo. The strikers. So far corner, everyone getting set in front of the net. And that ball is gonna go out, so nothing doing there. And the goal kick here for Calgary, Northwest United Rush. Near side, up towards midfield. Nice job by number 10, Julia Haggerty. Getting around a couple of defenders there. And now using some muscle, number 14, Kathleen Jeremiah. Ball at midfield. Now on the left half, oh, Jeremiah and Haggerty nearly got there, and that's going to be an offsides. And we'll go back to Calgary. Ball at midfield, and it's going to go out. Off number 12, Michelle Landsidell. And it looks like number three, Kate Godfrey, are waiting to come into the match. And perhaps number five, Brianna Keel. And number seven, Sarah Oaks. And as that ball goes out, they're going to, can they substitute here? Not yet. So the ball didn't go out as a penalty, it's a free kick. Right at midfield for the Vallejo strikers. So the next stoppage in play, we'll have those substitutions. And that kick goes long, right to the hands of Jamie Foyard, the keeper who's been exceptional here in the second half. Ball bounces once across midfield in the circle. Number 10. Eliza Montano. Baeo looking for an opening, can't find it. Much tougher for them here in the second half. Ball rolls towards the back line, saved there by Calgary. Let's see if they can dribble it out. And it's going to go out. And a throw in on the far side for the Vallejo Strikers. Yeah. 
Vallejo comes up top. Now they want to go back inside. A little push from behind, and the referee will see that one. So the free kick will go to the strikers. There's about five minutes or so remaining here. Maybe six. Remember, this field started a little bit late than the fields around us. So once we start hearing those whistles, we'll know we've got just about two or three minutes to go. And here comes a direct kick towards the net. And a nice job by Jamie Foyard to stop that ball. And she's kept him out of the net so far here in the second half. Again, the strikers on the move into the backfield, the defensive backfield of Calgary. And now two girls tangled up there far side, and that's going to go against the strikers this time. And Calgary will have the free kick from the far side. Strikers using the far sideline again, again trying to come in, but you know, from where we're at, we can see the field. There's just no openings, and that one's going to go well over the crossbar. And another goal kick for Calgary Northwest United. So Foyard with the kick. She sets it up in front of the net. Angled here on the near side. And with the left leg, brings it here near side. Oh, it goes out and will be striker's ball. Number five, Michelle Padilla Lopez. Now into the middle of the field, number 10, Eliza Montano for the Vallejo Strikers. Calgary trying to bring it out. The green squad, the Strikers, don't allow them to bring it to midfield. Oh, now they might have an opening. Foyard comes out with the slide and makes the stop. Nice job. Jamie Foyard just playing like a madman back there today. Referee just making sure she's all right. There's a collision there. Up to number three, Kate Godfrey. Nice job by Calgary bringing it across midfield. Number five running her down, Brianna Keel. Keel, can't she get to the ball? Too many green jerseys there, and the keeper comes out, makes the stop. Brianna Keel on a mission there. High into the air, right at midfield. Ball towards the corner, far side. Again. The strikers come in, and again, they're going to be turned away. Again, Jamie Foyard with another nice play here in the second half. Oh, number three takes a beating there, Kate Godfrey, as she goes for the header. And there's the whistle, and so the ball will belong to Calgary quickly. They bring it up to midfield. They want to get on the board here. So one field next to us here is through. One whistle has sounded. We're still playing here, and the field over on the far side is still going. And the ball out far side will belong to the strikers.
Ball still in play far side. There's the whistle and the end of this match. But I tell you what, the Vallejo Strikers won this game 4-0. They had four scores in the first half. And the Calgary Northwest United Rush just played a superb second half. A tale of two halves, really. Great second half by Calgary. And really just two different ball games here. All Vallejo that first half and Calgary really puts it to them in the second half defensively and shuts them out. The final score, the Vallejo Strikers 4 at Calgary Northwest United 0. But again, tale of two halves. I'm King. It's also towards Landry and Productions. We're at the 2009 Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. We hope you enjoyed this match. And until we see you again, have a great day, everyone. All right, I'm Coach Gino. This is Lisa Powell. She's one of our stars off the rush. A blessing to have. I've been playing, or she's been playing around me for about five years. She's one of our great strikers. Tons of effort. Change the pace of a game all the time. Lisa Powell. Thank you, sweetie. All right, been great. All right, this is Kara Nanya, and I'm proud to call her my daughter as well. She's been with the uh, the Rush now. This is our first season, but she's been one of the Chargers for about four years. Great midfielder, growing up with the sport. Great bunch of friends she's gained, and she's been one of our best feet for the whole season and put some good goals in the net. This is Kara Nanya. This is Jamie Fulliard. She's been our goalkeeper uh, with the Rush. This is our first year, of course, but been a keeper with these girls for about five, six years. Been the only keeper, never a backup, never let us down. Great kicks, great performer, lots of fun, both uh, on the bench and off. Thank you very much, Jamie. This is Carly Lumsden, killer midfielder, aggression beyond, 150% all the time. And uh, this is the kind of girl any team could be proud of. Uh, there for her players, never a bad word. Love coaching her and uh, just a great friend to us all. Thank you, Carly. This is Haley Fortini, grown five inches this year. She's been a standard defensive pillar for the rush this year and the Chargers for the last four or five seasons. Yep. Always solid feet, solid performer, a great friend to all. The Fortini's been a great family to have as part of uh, the soccer club in Calgary. Thank you very Thanks. much. Now running in here, this is Robin Spilsbury. She's not part of the official rush this year. She's playing up for a, a, a higher team. And she's a guest with us down in Las Vegas and her first big trip down here. Great to have her. Killer speed, can't beat her on the back. Uh, she's playing midfield and doing very, very well for the older girls. And it's been a pleasure having the Spilsburys down here. I want to say thank you to Robin. Pleasure having you. There Gino. you go. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, thank Robin. You. All right, this is this is one of my pride and pleasures of this season. This is little Alex Metcalf. Saw her in evaluations. I said, I can make her smile every game, and she can make me smile with her effort. Never miss a practice, never miss fitness, never miss tech training. This is the heart and soul of a team. Anybody be proud to have her. I want to say thank you to Alex for being there, and uh, she's been a hard work and great girl. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Hobbling into the screen right now is Reagan. He's playing uh, with a little bit of a twisted injury, but never lets his team down. She wouldn't have missed it with one leg. So this is Reagan. We use her as a stopper and or sweeper for defense. You can't beat her on blinding speed. And she's also one of the best offensive defensemen, I think, this year for our division in Calgary. I want to say thank you to Reagan. It's been a pleasure for numerous years. Thanks, thank Reagan. All right, here comes Taryn Graham. She's uh, one of our strong kickers on the defense. She's got our hardest kick here for the rush this year. We put some good goals in the net with a strong feet, and she's also coming up and showing people, don't mess with my ball, I'll take you out. And that's what we're working on. Confidence is everything. She doesn't miss a beat. Give you 150% all the time. Pleasure being around Taryn. Thank you very much, Taryn. In jogs uh, Kathleen Jeremiah. Now this one will give you attitude whether you want it or not. And I'll tell you, she dishes it out to the girls uh, on every team uh, that plays against her. 
Uh, you look at her wrong, she'll let you know it quickly, and she gives you a lot of effort on the pitch. Uh, she'll play with an injury, broken or not. She's always a good player to have out there as a midfielder, defender, and uh, will play anything for you that you ask. So thank you very much, Kathleen. Thanks, man. This is little Julia Haggerty. This is our striker extraordinaire. She's been snapping in some of the nicest goals, I think, in our league uh, in Calgary. Uh, team player, friend to all, uh, great, great feet. And I think uh, Julia is going to be pulling some really nice things in soccer uh, as long as she cares to play. Thank you very much. Thank Julia. you. <clears throat> Here comes Kate Godfrey. This is a uh, player of many positions. She'll play, uh, she loves to play striker if you let her, but uh, we like to use her as an outside mid. She'll play D. She'll give you a pound in uh, pleasure if you uh, look at her <laughs> wrong on the field. Yep, and pound in pleasure. Th there you go. So uh, we like to get more goals off this girl, and I think she can put as many in as her heart, so, her heart will let her. I want to say thank to Kate and her family for being a great part of this team. Thank okay. you very much. Thanks. This is little Caitlin Fulton. She's my bag of dynamite for the rush. <laughs> Love having her. The smile's been on her face since we got her out of evaluations. And uh, never let you down. 150%. Doesn't miss anything. Tech, training, and practices. Great girl to have on any squad. The effort is everything. And it's been a pleasure having a season with this young girl. And she's made some beautiful passes and some beautiful goals. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Here's one of our next guest players. This is Michelle Lenseidel. She plays with the Chinook out of Calgary, but she's been uh, honored, and I'd like to thank her club for having her with us uh, down here in Las Vegas. Been a pleasure, it's showing so much great strength and some ball control, beautiful kicks, and uh, I can't say enough for her family being down with us. Thank you very much, Michelle. Go ahead. Come on, Brianna. Uh, this little girl, Brianna Keel, she's also a guest with us from the Chinook out of Calgary. And uh, I've known Brianna since she could kick a soccer ball. <laughs> Faster than lightning, she's playing mid, defense, and striker a little bit. So she's become a multifaceted team uh, player, great person. She needs to make more noise because she's just so quiet all the time, uh, but not according to her mom, of course. It's been a pleasure <laughs> having you down in Las Vegas. Thank you very much, Brianna. And our last guest, this is Sarah of the Sarah Oaks of the Oaks family, and now uh, she's taller than me. Uh, Sarah is a guest player with us this year, and uh, formerly one of the uh, the uh, pillars of the the Chargers. And her father was the coach for many years, and he's assisting with us down here this year, and uh, and allowing us to play. I want to thank Sarah. She played a hell of a second half there, and looking looking forward to bigger things as this tournament rolls on. Thanks for coming to Las Vegas with us. Thank you. All right, thank you. No, it's been a pleasure being down here with everybody in Las Vegas. The parents are fantastic, and uh, I want to say thank you to all the girls.